Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, working on week two of Advent backgrounds based on Christmas hymns, and we're going to do Silent Night today with a very cool background technique. I've practiced it already in my workbook, which is a great place to practice things. I always do that nowadays, just to see what I, what colors I want to use, etc. I wrote out the lyrics to Silent Night because I'm going to focus on sleep in heavenly peace and really thinking a lot as I'm doing this page about what heavenly peace feels like versus earthly peace, worldly peace. And for me, heavenly peace is from Psalm 4. In peace I will lie down and sleep for you alone, Lord. Make me dwell in safety. And what better peace could it be than that? So my Psalm 4 has that verse at the top. So I'm going to put my moon at the top to highlight the verse itself. If yours is in a different location, you can put the moon anywhere and just make sure your color is light enough around the verse so you can still read it, of course. And I'm going to use just regular Daniel Smith watercolors. And it doesn't matter what colors you use. Just use all kinds of blues. I'm going to layer a bunch of different blues in here. But in order to get that sharp edge right around the moon, I'm going to use the brush. I'm trying to be kind of careful so that I get that nice round shape. And I love the fact that my moon is kind of partway off the page because it gives it the feeling that that's a bigger expanse of sky. I got my color a little heavier than I wanted, so I started lightening with the baby wipe. But I wanted to lighten that edge right around where the where I painted with the brush. And I did that by pulling the baby wipe into the blue area so that I could retain that white edge. And it lightened up that edge so I didn't end up looking like I had a big old outline around my moon. Because you wouldn't see an outline around the moon. And I started thinking, do I want to do light colors? Do I want to do darker colors? And decided, yeah, I do like having richer color on there. So maybe I'll put a little more dark blue there. Lighten it up with my baby wipe. Hmm. Deciding, yeah. I want to put some dark blue in there and leave it this time. You can kind of go back and forth as many times as you want. You can let it dry a little bit first. However, for the technique I'm going to show you, you want to have it wet. So I'm going to slow the video back down here now. And I'm putting this tiny bubble wrap over it. And it's the small bubble wrap, not the big fat ones, because it's going to give me this kind of almost snowy texture. It looks like a big old blizzard. And then I'm just going to use the baby wipe to touch up any areas that might have globby paint on them. Because when you're doing this on wet paint, it's helpful to kind of clean it up sometimes. And I didn't let it dry completely until after the, the thing had been lifted off, the bubble wrap, because I wanted to be able to fix things. And I didn't know what it was going to turn out like, so I, I wanted to be able to move that paint if I needed to. And then ironed it between two sheets of paper, and I added my text just in a micron pen. Sleep in heavenly peace. You can leave your page just like this. You don't have to do anything further than that, but you guys probably know me by now. I don't leave anything well enough. I always seem to come a little further. And I thought, let me put some trees in here. So I'll show you some easy ways to paint this little row of trees at the bottom. And notice I'm making them small. I'm not making them take up the whole thing. That beautiful background is just so pretty. I didn't want to cover much of it. So I created the, the anchor at the bottom where my little snow curve is. And then I'm going to paint basically fuzzy edged triangles. That's really what a pine tree is when you're trying to paint a shape like this. Just You can actually paint a triangle and then just pull out a few branches from it if you wanted. And then as the trees all meet at the bottom, they're going to blend into each other. So you really only have to worry about those edges on the top part of the tree itself. The trees next to it, I'm just going to let them get smaller because the trees are never going to really be the same size in a forest anyway, unless it's a tree farm that we're all planted at the same time. And it also gives the illusion of depth when you have trees of a different distance. And they can be tall, short, tall, short, or they can kind of cascade down like I'm doing, which makes them look like they're kind of receding off into the distance. They can also get lighter toward the, the ones in the distance, the ones that are far away. You can have heavier color on the ones that are close. That's a lot to worry about. So even just having a row of trees on here on this pretty background is just lovely. But as you're working on this page or any Bible journaling you're doing, of course, give yourself time to really ponder on the wonders of God. Ponder on 
what heavenly peace is to you. Where in your life do you need his heavenly peace? And how do you get that from him? When are the times when you feel his heavenly peace the most? And, and just ponder through that. I did my journaling already in my workbook. So I had some thoughts started and continued to pray through it as I was doing the page itself. So I'm using a Uniball Signo gel pen, my white gel pen. Some people find that this one doesn't work for them. I find that less pressure works better because the ink has to go around that roller ball. So you want to make, make sure that you have room for it to go around. So try not pressing real hard. You can also write on your finger to warm it up. The surface of it can be um, sometimes not exactly ready to roll. So warming up that tip can often help. So there we go. A nice, simple, simple background for an Advent page. I hope you've enjoyed this. Click on the links here if you want to see some more Advent pages. Or if you missed last week's video, it'll be here as well. And I will see you guys again next Sunday. God bless you.